What is that? What is this? But before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Tu passé un bon matin? Très bien. Good morning. From Departement 16, La Charente, the northernmost tip of the southwest of France. Got quite a bit on today. Um, washing machine needs, needs to go to the tip. That's if the tip's open on a Saturday. Gonna have to do some research on that. Hot tub needs to be deflated, put away. The uh, the umbrella needs to be put away. And uh, I need to go into the attic. To empty the toy box, that's under, underneath the leak. That needs to be sorted out at some point. It's on the list. Nice day today. Um, I think it's gonna rain for the rest of the week. Um, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can get out my bike today, if I can be bothered. Uh, oh, I also need to go to the recycling to, uh, to get rid of some jam jars. So, Whatever next is, let's do that. So that's pretty much stopped me from doing what I need to do, um, or I can do it later. It certainly stopped me taking the washing machine to the dishetterie at any time this morning, uh, because stuff like this raises my anxiety through the roof and I have to get it done. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So that's what next was, whatever next is. <laughs> so whatever other next is, right, let's do that. Yeah. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better Better off. When I look at what I've done Now that we are apart When I look at what I've won I've come so far I know I'm so much better off and better Je 
machine à laver là-bas Merci. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay. When you feel like you're fed up with heartbreak, and you know that you can't take another. So loads of jobs done today. Uh, tip with a washing machine, mowed the lawn, put the umbrella away, collapsed the hot tub. The thing that I didn't do was the uh, was the attic. So I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. But I have learned um, some things today. I learned that uh, that there's a different lady in the uh, Champagne Mouton de Chetterie. Uh, I learned that I forgot my uh, uh, haircut appointment as I was driving past. Um, I said to myself, J'ai oublié mon rendez-vous. Uh, and then I went back and, yes, yeah, she managed to cut it. Um, I'm about to sneeze. And you don't say, <laughs> Bon après midi. That's a, um, that's a parture, a departure saying, I keep sneezing. Um, like uh, you would say bonjour, uh, bon soirée. You'd say bon après midi. You wouldn't greet somebody with a bon après midi. And also, if uh, if you already said bonjour to somebody in the morning, and then you see him again later, you wouldn't really say bonjour again. You'd say re bonjour, or is it re bonjour? Re bonjour. It's re. And then uh, if if you want to be real incorrect French, just re. <laughs> If I've pronounced that correctly, please tell me. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. ask you in the comments to tell me if you know what it is um, but also um, it's where it's had a collapsed chimney before and they've left the old concrete chimney up here anyway there's a leak that I need to take a look at and some water to empty so let's do that so this is actually on a low light setting but uh, let me see if I can 
That's not made it much better. What is that? What is this? I have no idea. Bring it around this side. It's rusty and it's heavy. So I'll say on it. Can you read that? Don't know. Yeah, so that's well, if that was ever a chimney, since it's not used now. We've got old bits of wood. I can't get rid of it now because the loft hatch is too small. Uh, rabbit hutch over there. Um an old metal bed, barbed wire. Mattress down here is where I uh, pulled up the uh, the floorboard so I can uh, sort out the electrics in the bathroom. Over there's an old window. Some tyres, of course. A wheel. And the leaks over there. Oh, this is funny. So this was more or less half full the last time I uh, emptied it because I lost the will to live. Uh, but it looks like the summer. <laughs> Has evaporated all out, um, but the leak, well, you can see where it's wet. So it comes in, it comes in just there. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get up, up on the roof, I don't like heights. And then it goes, drips all the way down there, into that. Our bedroom directly underneath, uh, and the reason why we notice it is because it, it started leaking through. Oh, there's a light there, I've never noticed that before. <laughs> I doubt there's a switch though. For those of you that don't know, um, we can just see the office down there. That that was all open space, that was just a concrete floor and brick walls. And then go right over there, that's where we did the renovations. So that's Robbie's room over there. And that's the office there. Yeah. What is that? What is it? I did try and empty the attic out. It would have been last year now, I think. Um, but there's just too much stuff in there and uh, and I was by myself and everything's heavy excuse 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 no but I wish I'd spent a bit more time in doing it say lovey anyway um, pre-recorded is Lisa opening up the shoes from Fitville that she's gonna let you know all about it. The trainers have arrived from Fitville. Lisa is going to uh, unpackage them now. <laughs> now? Blue. I like the colour. Not the colour that I'd usually go for, but I wanted to go for something a little bit different. You want something that wouldn't get messed up in French countryside, yeah? Well, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's obviously still got the white base, but it looks white, white but cleanable, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to try them on. Right, yeah, so Lisa's trying them on now. Um, a few things to let you know about them. Uh, in, the, in the description below, I'll put the link to the uh, website and you need to use Rob28 uh, to get you 25% off I think it is. Right so this is Lisa walking as you can see. Um, so the key features extra width up to 4E, spacious toe box that protects sensitive toes, say goodbye to cramped feet. Bound and cushioning, tailoring sole comfort with dual EVA densities 58% degree for firmness of soles, 53% degree for flexibility of forefoot, arch support and extra bounce. So our U-shaped arch support insoles along with dual density EVA and energy wave pad ensures optimal shock absorption. I'm rubbish at this, aren't I? Top notch slip resistance, the rubber sole outsole, no, the rubber outsole is smartly designed to achieve superior ground Gripping. Last bit. <laughs> Pronation and flat feet control. Our heel ring ensures consistent gait posture. Even, even when, when fatigue, fatigue strikes. strikes. That's going to help me. Well, there you go. So I think that there was about a 70 euro 
Do you know what thing? they feel like? So they like don't, clouds on your feet. They don't feel like my trainers, which I have at the moment. I have like a Nike um, usually, but these are a lot wider, so I've, my my toes have got a lot more space, and they are really really comfortable, like um, old school Nike Airs yeah. that you used to have. And, and she's not just saying that because they're a free free, free, free pair of trainers, or uh, yeah. That's what it feels like. It feels like the first old, generation Nike Airs. Nineties. Nike that's how it feels. There you go, right. That's enough of selling your soul to YouTube. Oh. Oh, I'm going to climb over. Okay, come on then. And then you, this electric? No. Oh, quick! Say, I'm not a footballer. Anyway, we're off round to um, to neighbours for a drink. I'll see you tomorrow. Wow, Angel, what are you wearing? You loving it? Ha. I know that's from Youp and Alberta. Say thank, uh, say thank you to Youp. Thank you to you. And Alberta. <laughs> you look lovely. And you do, Robbie. <laughs> that was many hours ago this morning, just before we dropped the kids off at school. Anyway, I've got this. It's full of ash from the fire that we've had to put on today. We've done bugger all. Apparently, Put that down there. The house with the compost. Uh, well, it would do if we had proper compost because there's a rat that lives in there. That eats all stuff. Anyway, I've got a kitten over there. Don't know whether you can see him. Uh, just waiting for him to get big so he can uh, sort the rat problem out. That was gold. <laughs> anyway, I'm being followed around by the chickens. Anyway, <laughs> what is the measure of success for a YouTube channel? You know, Lisa doesn't like me talking about this sort of stuff. She says it sounds a bit crass. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I always thought I'd reached my limit with just over 2,273 2, subscribers, thinking that's probably it for this channel. Um, people, living in France, doing stuff. Although I don't, I don't do a lot of stuff anymore. But then Domaine Savage pops onto the scene with 85,000 subscribers. <laughs> Puts a video out each week, 35 minutes long of him doing stuff, streaming his garden and stuff like that. It's a, it's a great channel. I've watched him from the start, but uh, it's now got me thinking about, um, oh, the ceiling could be high. Not that I think I'll, I'll ever get there. And plus do I want to. And the reason being is, I like the number of comments that I get. Um, whereas I used to be able to bash out comments within half an hour in the morning uh, and then crack on with the day. Um, you, you were applying to each one and uh, now there's loads of comments and it's, they happen each day and I love that too. Imagine if you had 85,000 subscribers and you've got like 400 comments per video. You, you can't sustain that to any meaningful level of communication anyway. At least, I'm, at least I try and communicate at some sort of reasonable level to the people that comment. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm waffling on. Hope you enjoy the video. Laters.